Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving the first question of exercise 14c, OP Malhotra's textbook for ISC Mathematics. The question is the integral of x sine 2x dx. For this, we'll be using a rule called the Lyate rule. So we know that in differentiation, we have the uv rule where we have u into the differentiation of v plus v into the differentiation of u. But here the uv rule is not that simple and it's not called, it's not called the uv rule, it's called integration by parts. So whenever I say we're going to do it by parts, it basically means we're going to do the uv rule of integration. So let's see the formula for the uv rule here or the bypass rule. So whenever we, the first function that we want uh, is u and the second function is v. We can see there are two terms or two functions here x and sine 2x. So the uv rule has states that we have to different uh, sorry integrated by u into the integration of v minus the integral of differentiation of u with respect to the variable stated here into the integration of v. u into the integration of v minus the integration of differentiation of u into the integration of v. So this is kind of like a double integral. And the Lyate rule helps us uh, find out which function we should name as u and which function we should name as v. For example, whatever functions are easier to integrate, we would give them the position of v. We would name them v. Or would we would treat them as the second function v. Whichever functions are easier to differentiate, we would name them as u. Name them as the first function. So Lyate gives the preference of the first function. So L stands for log I stands for inverse trigonometric, inverse trigonometric functions. A stands for algebraic functions. And then T stands for normal trigonometric functions. And E stands for exponential functions. That is E raised to something. And as you can see, this goes uh, in the decreasing order of the easiness of differentiation, right? Or you can say that we face more difficulty in integrating log. So we would rather keep it as the first function. And this goes in that preference, which is easier to differentiate than to integrate, as in comparison. Okay, so with that, let's begin with um, our first question. So here we can see that the first function according to the Lyate rule should be the algebraic function x because x is uh, x appears before t trigonometric so we are going to keep x as u and sine 2x as v so let's integrate it now sorry the camera lost focus so we have u that is x into the integration of sine 2x dx minus integration of dx by dx which is going to be 1 into the integration of sin 2x by sin 2x dx all right so we know that the integration of sin is minus cos and we're going to keep the uh, coefficient of x in the denominator so this becomes minus x cos x sorry cos 2x upon 2 because the differentiation of minus cos 2x would be minus sine 2x into 2 because we would differentiate 2x as well. So then the 2 and 2 will get cancelled and we'll be left with just sine 2x and we have minus also the minus of minus will become plus so we'll be left with just sine 2x minus integration of 1 into same thing again minus cos 2x upon 2 dx. So we have minus x cos 2x upon 2 minus let's take 1 by 2 outside because it's just a constant and let's take the minus sign also outside turn this into plus integral of cos 2x dx we know that the integration of cos is sine 
सो माइनस एक्स कॉस टू एक्स बाई टू प्लस वन बाई टू इन टू कॉस टू एक्स बिकम्स साइन टू एक्स अपॉन टू राइट सो द फाइनल आंसर डोंट फर्गेट प्लस सी दैट समथिंग दैट वी टेंट टू फर्गेट फाइनल आंसर बिकम्स माइनस वन बाय टू एक्स कॉस टू एक्स प्लस वन बाय फोर साइन टू एक्स प्लस सी So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.